Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her O'er the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me Oh I'm coming back home to Ireland Ked Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we go to County Waterford to the beautiful Nair Valley. And I want you to come up here to the canvas with me till I show you exactly what I have done. I've got myself just the outline with a pencil of the Nair Valley, the outline only. And it's, it, the mountains they sweep down here into the valley and there's an old boring that goes down this way. So what I'm going to do is with black gesso, with black gesso, I'm just going to get in the outlines of the mountains. Just that way. The black gesso will dry in, in minutes here with the heat of the studio now. I don't even know will I need a hair dryer. There's a little bit of a mountain there. And uh, at last see another little bit here. There, another bit here. It, it only just gives me an idea of where, and you notice I'm pulling the strokes down with the lay, lay of the land, down this way, down into the valley. It's just to give me an idea when I put on the liquids that uh, I will know exactly what I'm doing or where I'm going to. So I'm going to a bigger brush now. And here, a little bit there. There's a bank all along here. There's a road coming up here, a wall there, and down, and down into the valley here, big sweeping strokes, down into the valley all along, and you'll see the brush strokes are coming down now and sweeping down into the valley. And that is actually all but enough for what I want. I only want an indication of where, where, where I'm going. And all I need to do now is get a hairdryer, and even with the, with, the, um, with the heat of the lights here, that should be nearly gone off as it is. So that's more or less dry there now, all that in, in less than three minutes. And that's beautiful and dry. And now I can get on with my painting. So now all I've got to do, this canvas is too dry, and I'm going to put some liquid clear on, on the canvas. So with the two inch brush, I go up here and again, do it very, very sparingly. Just to get a little bit of slip into the, um, into the canvas. There's very, very little sky on this now. It is all, all, it is three quarters is taken up by the whole valley, the whole Nair Valley. This is an um, area is well known for walking. And uh, you'll see as it comes together how the painting will go for you. So that's all pretty well covered. Now I'm going to get a little bit of uh, magic white or liquid white and cover this bit here up here at the top. Very little sky in this now, very little. Very little. So the people of Waterford, County Waterford, I just want to welcome you to the program. I'm coming right down over this area now and right down into the valley here. But very little paint now, there's only just to give it a, a fade it out a little bit here. Fading it out just a little bit. A whole lot. Down there. And at the back of that. And now, my canvas is now ready to paint. The whole lot is a skating ring. And it's all slip, it will slip and slide the paint. So there's very little sky in this and I'm going to go straight away into the blue. And I'm going to darken it down a little bit with black, black, just a little bit. But there's very little sky at all in this painting. Very little. Don't want it too bright at all. So really down and down and down here into the valley here now. Push those all mountains back. Go back now, Mr. Mountain. Thank you. Go back. Thank you. And down into the valley. Right down and down here into the valley as well. All the way down. To the back of that. 
very, very little paint. You don't require a whole lot of paint if you put the mediums on. And all these mediums are available and all these paints are available on the program. Just look at the program and you'll get the phone number or the email number or website or whatever. And you'll see. Straight away now, I'm going to get my filbert brush and I'm just going to make up a little bit of uh, Van Dyke brown, just very little, and a bit of white. Van Dyke brown and white. These mountains are really brown now. I'm going to put a little bit of blue into it to push it away, go, to make it go way back into the painting. Now, very little paint at all. So I'll go over here. I'm just going to add a, the smallest little bit of crimson to that color. Make it go back further and to warm it up. And I go up here, and there's the first layer of the mountain down here. And a little bit of white into the valley. A little bit of white. And I'm going to pull it down with the lay of the land now. Just to, just to lay of the land. Down she comes into the valley there. Very, very little, very, very far away. Now with the same color, a bit of Van Dyke brown, a bit of crimson. Not a bit of a small bit of blue, all together. I need to push, it's the same color but a little bit stronger. And it will push the other mountain back for me. So I get up here and I push it and I ask the other mountain to go back now. Go back please, down, go back, thank you. Down into the valley and down here. And down with the fall of ground again into the valley, pushing the other mountain way, way back. And down again. And again now, I'm going to introduce a little bit of yellow ochre there maybe, and white at the base, just here, just there, look. Just there at the base. A little bit there. And still the brush strokes are all going down with the fall of land, down with the mountain, and here, I'm just going to create a little bit of light just at the back of that. And all down into the valley, into the Nair Valley. So well known by walkers all over the world, not to mind Ireland or Europe, all over the world. It is absolutely beautiful area. Now I'm going to go to a little bit, maybe the same color, just here because there's a peak. There's a peak just sticking up there, look, just there. He's just sticking up because he just heard that the cork fella was in the Nair Valley and he stuck up his nose to see, have a look at him. He had about him, the guy with the cork accent. And that'll push that back. Now, with Van Dyke Brown, and you'll notice I am not washing the brush. I have Van Dyke Brown and I'm after going into the dark to black by accident, but I'm putting it into the, it makes no difference. It's a dark color, and up I go, and I tell that mountain that's curious to look at the cork to get back. Go back. There you are. Go back for me. Thank you. And here, Van Dyke Brown now. Just Van Dyke Brown. And down, and down, and down, and down, and tell the mountain, the other mountain, go back now, the two of them. Go back there, please. Thank you. Back into the painting, down into the valley. And up, and up, and up. And there's all little things here going on. Now I'm going to change my brush to a number, or to a number uh, one inch brush. A one inch brush will do me fine. Just to speed it up. And I go to uh, some cyan, yellow ochre, here. Cyan, just to warm it up. And yellow ochre, and yellow ochre, and now down and down and down again into the valley and down here. And now I'm going to add a little bit of white to that to liven it up. Small bit of white to that. Lighten it up. Come on, come on the valley. Lighten up the valley. And up and down. Another little bit of white. And up and now down in here, a little bit of green, because there's a lot of growth down here now. We'll go down into where the cattle and the sheep will be 
grazing. The sheep, lots of sheep in the Nile Valley. Beautiful, peaceful place to be. So if you go for a walking holiday or for a day in the Nile Valley, you'll walk down along in here. Now another little bit of white now here, just to brighten that up and brighten up my life. And please God, I might brighten your life up if you can't get out of home today. Maybe you will come with me to the Nile Valley. Now, I'm just going to break that up now with um, there's various colors of greens. I'm going to get a dark green and black and mix the two of them together, maybe a bit of Van Dyke brown all together and I'm going to thin that out with some white or with um, white spirit with white spirit. Not a whole lot now but just thin it out just for what goes onto the knife will do the thinning out for me. Not a whole lot but I need it to be a little bit thin. Right, that's fine, that's fine. No, there's valleys and fields and all down in there. And I'm going to create them by just cutting in like this. Just like that, into that dark color, okay? So there, come along there. Make the noises if you can. The paint comes off much better. And here, go up, and here. A lot of these fields will go up, up in, and get, they get a little bit smaller as they're going away. As they're going away, they get a little bit smaller. And here, and here, and there, here and there, and everywhere, where the farmer would he would divide up all this area, generations and generations of landowners passing the land from one generation to the other and each one working on the mountain and watching their sheep, etc. Now I'm going to get the uh, little liner brush and I'm going to get vertical strokes all along the ditches, all along trees, all along and they would run up, some of them would run up. Keep the strokes vertical now because the trees, Mother Nature is wonderful. Island, and um, island, the trees, and as they go up, they get smaller. Island, all along the valley, island, here, and all along. And as you go up then, they get more individual as they go up. Because uh, the weather is a bit more severe up there than it is a little bit way, way, way over there in the valley. And uh, the growth wouldn't be great as you go up the hill, but you get groves of trees that would be, take off a little bit better than others. And here, I'm breaking it all up now. And I'm going up with the, f the fallen land, the lay of the land up here, all along there, leave a few gaps in the trees, and we'll get them to sit down now in a moment. And up along, and up, and up all along, broken up into little areas. And here, more bone. A lot of these will be covered up again in a moment now because um, we have other things to do here. And you'll be given out to me later to say, why didn't he leave that alone? It was fine until he interfered with it. Down here now, into the valley, into the valley. I wonder could I get that Waterford crowd to speak with a Cork accent, I wonder. They'll all come to, for the jazz festival and that to, to Cork. Now, what I'm going to do is get the knife and I'm going to go into the base of these and I'm going to get them all to sit down by rubbing at the base only now. Don't, don't interfere with the top. And ask them to sit down now. Sit down there into the ditches and the fields for me. Thank you very much. Right up the mountain, right up, right up. And they'll all sit down lovely. Because there's got to be places for the sheep to graze. 
and the, all the animals, cows and sheep, etc. Now all the strokes are going up with the hill, and as I come down now, this angle would be different. So I want them to sit down a little bit down this way, and down, and down, and I'm going to go away from it now because I'll spile it all. I'll spile it all. So the next thing I'm going to do is over here, there's um, quite a bit of dark color, Van Dyke brown here, all along there. And there's a lot of, uh, there's a tree there. Where did I get this knife? Excuse me. A little bit of Van Dyke here, uh, maybe that green, Van Dyke brown. And here's a tree, turn the brush up. This quite dark tree now here and push and push and push the old valley back. Go back into the pit. Thank you. Go back into the pit. Thank you. Down. Thank you. Push up here. It is quite rough now as we're coming closer here. Quite rough. A few other bits and pieces. And there, all along here. And Van Dyke Brown still on the brush. I'm just going to come up here, up here, because that road comes up. There's a boring, comes up, and widen out the stroke as you come up. Widen it out. Right up. Gets quite wide there. Quite wide as you come up, and let it go right around the corner there. Now, what I'm going to do is get a little bit of yellow ochre on the same brush, yellow ochre. And I'm going to highlight that. It goes right around the corner there. It goes right around there. Quite dark near you now. And maybe a little bit of yellow ochre and white just to brighten it up a little bit. The sun will catch part of that now, but not all of it, not all of it. That's fine. There's um, quite a big tree here, so I might as well put him in now and get finished with it. So again, so I'm going to get green, Van Dyke brown, and a little bit of black. And I'm going to, so around there, I need to push the all. So I'm going to fill all this in. And up, and twist the old brush out now. Twist it out so that it comes out. The, tree, the trees will droop out the branches as they come down. On that tree there, I need to put a little bit of highlight. Just yellow ochre and white. A bit of cyanide. A little bit. On the right inside that tree there, look. Just there. And a small bit of Van Dyke Brown on the back of it here. That pushes the old mountain range back now. Okay. They can intermingle with each other there. Widens out a little bit. And there'll be a little stib out there. So I can, I can actually highlight that cat yellow on its own, just in there. And I'll highlight just some of this here. And down, and down. Mind the darks now, the dark is your friend. And here. And down there, and down here. The dark is your friend now. Okay. So down here, there's a wall. See, I'm, I'm Van Dyke Brown. And all along here, there's a wall. Push that old tree back. Quite. Quite strong, this wall now. Right down there. Down into the Nar Valley. 
Now what I'm going to do is double load the brush. I'm putting Van Dyke Brown on one side and yellow ochre on the other. So it's Van Dyke Brown and yellow ochre. Okay. Get okay. It's Van Dyke Brown and yellow ochre. And I'm going to twitch that off just to highlight some of that. There's an old wall goes down along there and I'd need to just put a few little highlights in it. There's lots of stones all along the wall. And I just twitch it off, the colour, all along. There's a stone wall. You can build your own wall pretty quick this way. And you can tell everybody you were weeks, months doing it. But don't tell anybody I showed you how to do this. And I'll be, all the professional artists will be after me, giving out. You're showing those people too much. But I'm not. It, painting is for everybody. It's for everybody. And I think you could do this. Here. Big boulder now as they're coming closer. Okay. So I'm going to get the fan brush and just pull that out slightly there. At the base of the wall. And ask the wall to sit down slightly. Thank you. Thank you. Into the painting. And I can get a little bit of the, the greeny or cad yellow. Van Dyke Brown, and just, there's growth all along there, look. Just break that up. All along there. Just break it up. It'll run out, some of that thing will run out there. It won't be that clean all along there. All along, just to push the old wall back. Over at this side here, another little bit of uh, more Van Dyke Brown. Down here, the bank runs right down here. Runs right down, falls over, and pushes that whole boreen back. Go back now, boreen. Right along there. And there's lots and lots and lots of color. Yellow ochre along here, falling down, falling down down on there. It gets quite dark. It gets quite dark as you're coming down, down here. And again, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pull out the cad yellow on its own. There's a lot of false bushes around there. I can get lots and lots of paint on the brush. It's pocked with paint. So I turn that brush upside down now. And I just push up, push up, push up, and there's all bushes around there, look, all around there. And again, here, and they're all around there, all around. And I go back now to the, um, to the fan brush, and I pick up some cad yellow, yellow ochre, and then a lot of that scrub will come down over, down here, down the bank, push it up, comes down onto the bank here. As you're coming closer now, it's getting darker and darker, darker, all the way along there, all the way along there. And it actually comes out, a little bit out, onto the, the boreen. Push up, push up with the brush. It comes right out onto the boreen. Right out there. All along and all along. And I've got to stand back now and look at this. Okay, there's a few more little bits of stone there. Um, I get back again out to the filbert brush, Van Dyke Brown and yellow ochre. And I'm going to turn it up because there are still a few stones along there, look. Just that, that many, but they're there. And then we let it go at that. So again, getting my fan brush, and I'm going to soften that out at the base of the stone. And there's the Nile Valley in 30 minutes. And it's pretty nice. It's a lovely area to go to. 
There's B&Bs in the valley, go and stay in them. Spend the weekend there. It's a magnificent area. So, until we meet again, got a meal of Mahagut, Shlan Lat, and God bless you all, my friends. Try this one. Ireland, my Ireland, oh, I'm coming home. Though I roam, sure my heart never left her. O'er the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland.